Yo, what up? Ojama Garrett's here with another super important video. I'm uh, talking about super important issues, and you need to listen to me really big this time because today, today I had a thought, and I had a really good thought, and this thought was so good that I needed to just turn my camera on like I do and keep talking about it, okay? So that thought, that super important thought, very valuable, very valuable, I think it's going to solve a lot of problems, is going to be... Uh, yeah, uh, one sec. How do I say this? Um, is there a way to say this? Like, without getting in trouble? But, uh, I say this all. I'm oh, sorry, my camera's fucked up. Hold on. No, oh, my camera's all fucked up. Hold on. Oh, my fucking camera's all fucked up. Hold on. All right, perfect. So, important, super important. Why I've solved a pretty big issue here. So, it's about the N-word. Okay, so, hold on. I'm not going to say it, and I don't think white people should say it. Okay? Okay? Is that done? Also, that being said, I think that it would be super advantageous for the black community to monetize the N-word. I can just see, I can hear the pitchforks. I can hear the crowds forming outside of my house that I'm even talking about this. But no, hear me out, please. This is, this is, this is a good idea. I think this is a good idea. So, like, think about hip-hop, okay? Like, black people have exclusive rights to a word that used to be the worst thing in the world to call them. And they've somehow turned it into the most valuable, like one of the most valuable words in the world in terms of like being able to monetize it. Like, uh, and I'm talking about in terms of hip hop because like I love hip hop and I love rap. And a lot of it is because my people just, they use that word so like aggressively and nicely and it's great. It sounds great. You know what I mean? Like, why do you think like, you know what I mean? Like there's all the memes and stuff surrounding like white people wanting to say it, you know what I mean? And like the N word pass and all that other stuff. Like, so it's already monetized. Like you, it is defined an entire genre of music. Like think about Eminem. Eminem is like, Ooh, he's the best rapper alive. Ooh, he raps really fast. He's really cool. It's spooky. He's creepy. He's weird. He's, ooh, he's spooky. Spooky. Super cool. Oh, super cool. Eminem rap fast. Uh, mom spaghetti, whatever. You know what I mean? Like he, he's a really cool guy, but he can't say it. I'm sure they'd let him. You know what I mean? I'm sure like there's like pockets, huge pockets of like five people that probably let him say it, but he can't openly make, put that into a song. But man, you, you throw Kodak black in front of a mic, man. It's just, there's like a power attached to it. You know what I mean? And I'm never going to say it. Like, no, like it's not okay. Like that's just my opinion, you know, whatever. And that's, that's the way it's going to be. But, um, like, it's not okay to say, like, it's just not okay to say. But I'm just saying, why aren't black people monetizing it? Like, you should as, like, a meme and, like, as a joke. It would be the funniest thing in the world. And I bet you a lot of people would be able to uh, generate a lot of income doing this. Like, could you imagine, like, a, uh, black kids standing at a street corner selling out word passes to, like, white people driving by? And they just sell it for like, they, they don't even have to be usable. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to stop you from getting shot if you go to like Inglewood in Chicago or something like that. But still, people would stop and they would buy it from them. You know what I mean? And if the cops tried to like stop you from selling them, those cops are going to be put on blast in the whole country, man. You're, they'd be screwed. And I've already seen examples of it on the, uh, on the YouTube of like, as a joke, being monetized. Like this uh, black guy, he said, uh, I'm handing out one... N-word pass for every like this video gets. And it was like 12 seconds long or something like that. It was super funny. And it had like 8 million views or something like that. And they're like, I, I, I didn't check. I didn't click it or whatever. But oh, there goes my camera again. Sorry. My graphics card's about to fry out. But uh, but that's it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's super, like the, the implications here. And I just, hopefully, you know, hope, do it. Do it. It'd be so fucking funny. It'd be so funny if like every black person in America just started doing it. And then like. All of a sudden, black people become the highest income earners in the country or something like that for like a year or something like that. Just because they have this like, oh, yeah, every black person. 
just oh yeah like 100 years from now they're like oh yeah black people are like the, the best financially performing um people in america because they're bored with the ability to sell n-word passes like you know how like indians have um exclusive rights to casinos like that type of shit they <laughs> do and i'm not it's it's a joke because it'd be like funny like and funny like fuck you like fuck fuck you for the history that like white people have done to black people and stuff like that so like <laughs> But it would be so funny, and it would solve so many problems. And like the first people that start doing it, I imagine would probably generate so much buzz that it would just blow their like that business up. Plus, then it would just cause a bunch of controversy. Then, therefore, bringing more attention to it. Therefore, free marketing for that type of. I don't know. I just feel like this is such like a huge thing, and I, I'm like I'm not, I I just like I, I've been sitting on this idea for a while, and it's kind of been like a joke, but like. Now that I'm making YouTube videos, it's like, please just do it. Take this idea and run. Any any black person that hears this, like, if you could make like a hundred bucks this week, just doing it, do it. And like I said, they don't even have to be able to do it. It's that's not the point. The point is like, it's an easy money, bro. Like you just you take a piece of paper and you like sign it and say like one Edward pass and then sell it for a hundred bucks. I'm sure you can find somebody. You go to the right area, you can find somebody. You can go on a Craigslist, you go on whatever, make a couple of YouTube videos, Facebook. Facebook Live, but I don't know, man. Like, there's a million ways to like commit uh, um, to have to have transactions between two parties. Like, it's super easy. So that's all this one. But yeah, I mean, like, this is super. I'm not sure I should even put this on the internet just because of the fl- the smoke it's going to bring to me. But like, I feel like it's it's too good to not give this idea away. To I mean. There's some entrepreneurs out there that need to make a bag and I'm, I can't do it. So why shouldn't somebody else be able to capitalize on it? So yeah, that's all I got for today. Uh, catch you later. Hopefully I'm not dead. Um, but uh, this, this was a very important video. I needed, I feel like it needed to be made. So uh, see you later. See you later. See you in the next one.